Today's topic, the Garden of Eden myth. This is one of these myths that really permeates our dietary culture, but also our exercise culture. It's this idea that we human beings grew up under certain conditions, or grew, not grew up, but uh, evolved under certain environmental conditions, and therefore our bodies and our digestive processes and how we operate are optimized for a particular way of eating and moving and living. And nine times out of 10, you hear this about how like, modern society is just basically wreaking havoc on it all. And so a lot of the ways are like, this is what your body's built for, and this is what your foods you should eat, and this is the exercise you should do, and blah, blah, blah. This is a complete myth in a number of ways. Number one is there is no specific uh, environmental situation that human beings evolved in once we left Africa. And human beings have been evolving and changing and developing uh, in everything from the frozen tundra to the sand, desert Sahara, to the rainforests, to uh, Europe, to Africa, to everything. So we've had tons of different types of food sources. We've got some indigenous people that have a very high protein animal-based diet, some uh, human beings that evolved with a lot of vegetables and plants and fruits in their diet. There is no one way that we evolve to eat or move or anything like that. Some of us are in mountain regions where we're always climbing mountains. Some of us are in coastal areas where you have swimming a lot and so on. So there's that place where it runs the track off the tracks. The other thing too is the human body did not uh, evolve to be in a certain situation. The human body evolved to adapt. And I'm going to use this, this idea because uh, a lot of times we were like, this is how the body was developed over all these eons and centuries and everything, therefore this is the way you are. It was never constant. There was never a constant food source. There was never a constant way we were moving or developing for eons of time. Therefore, what we did evolve to do was adapt. The human body is one of the most adaptive uh, mammals on the entire planet. Hey, we can be in cold, we can be in hot, we can survive off of eating meat, we can survive off of eating vegetables and fruits, we can be cardio-based human beings that run or uh, walk long distances, we can be in areas where we're climbing and lifting heavy objects. We have amazing adaptive qualities, and that's what we actually did evolve into, is kind of a chameleon of sorts. It's almost like a you know, these, these X-Men superhero movies that these, these people who can change and shift shapes and, um, you know, different colors and everything, to a large degree, that's kind of what we evolved to do. We didn't evolve to have a particular diet. We didn't evolve to have a particular type of moving or activity. We evolved to be like, what am I in? What kind of environment am I in? What am I, what is my body and mind exposed to? And adapt to that situation. That's what we really evolved to do. Now, the reason why this is important to understand is because, because of this myth, we're forcing ourselves to try and have a diet or an activity level that is not congruent with our current environment. And it's causing all sorts of unhealthy stress, strain, eating styles, and everything like that. So if anything, this is going against what we have evolved to do, this idea of like, stick to this kind of diet. That's, uh, you know, the, what human beings evolved to eat is these kinds of foods. They don't know it, but that's exactly the opposite of what we evolved to do. We didn't evolve to eat a particular way. We evolved to eat and thrive with what we had in our environment. And so if, if we're like, all right, I'm in an environment where I'm grazing throughout the day and just snacking, then that's what we'll be healthiest on. Or if, I evol or if we are uh, conditioned to eat three square meals a day, that's what we'll be healthiest on. This is why I tell people, whenever you're eating a particular diet, you are not getting healthier necessarily as you are conditioning your body to be healthy on that diet. Okay, so if you take a raw food diet, and you're like, oh, it was hard at first, but then I got really healthy and fit and everything. That's because you adapted to it. Your body did exactly what it evolved to do. Adapt to the diet because it thinks that's what's in the environment. 
We didn't evolve to eat raw food, but you're telling it that now that's in the environment, so it will adapt to that. But if you're like, okay, I'm going to eat a lot of red meat and potatoes and drink beer every night, it'll do the best it can with that too. All right? So the, the beautiful thing is this is freedom. Do what you want and take control of the adaptive qualities of body and mind. But if you fight your environment, you're going to have a hard time with it. I got this uh, lesson very, very big time when I was in Japan, and I studied abroad in Japan. I had a particular diet that I like to follow here in America. I ate a certain way, I stayed away from certain foods, I didn't like a lot of like fried stuff and everything. Went over to Japan, different dietary environment. They had very different ways of eating over there. As a result, uh, what ended up happening was for the first month or two that I was over there, I tried like hell to stick to my dietary, what I thought was healthy way of eating. What did it do? It made me sick. It made me stressed. It made me uh, forego meals. It was all because I was fighting my current environment. But I'm looking at the environment going, that's not a very healthy diet. I need to eat the way I was eating back in America. But once I finally said, okay, fine, this is just too much of a pain in the neck. I'm going to eat according to the food I have here. And even though it wasn't healthy by what, you know, the textbook, by what the dietary standards here were, I ate that. And what did I do? I got stronger. I got leaner. I got fitter. I didn't get sick anymore. I felt great. Everything was better. You are not built to eat a certain way or move a certain way. Right? You're built to adapt. So adapt to what is best in your current situation. There was no Garden of Eden. There's just right here, right now. Be the best you can be in your current situation and make the most of it. Be fit, live free.